guys, um, back once again. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about a fragrance from the house of Bulgari and uh, it's from the Aqua line and it's called Bulgari Aqua Mara. This is what the bottle looks like. And uh, sorry, I cannot, uh, I can't uh, put it upright. It's gonna fall, so I have to go this way. Anyway, so uh, Aqua Mara. Um, well, this fragrance uh, uh, it adds a completely new dimension to the Aqua line of uh, Bulgari. This one is bolder and richer. Uh, while retaining uh, the distinctive aquatic and Mediterranean character. It was launched in the year uh, 2014, I think, yeah. And the nose behind this one is uh, Jacques Cavalier. Aquamara uh, or bitter water symbolizes energy and uh, comes in a copper-colored bottle. Keep in mind this is the color of the bottle. Okay, so uh, there's not a sticker. So in, uh, if you were to scratch this, uh, the bottle may get scratched but uh, since it's it's the color of the bottle, it's the color of the glass, uh, uh, this is it, you, you know you may see scratch marks that's it. Um, because there are people selling fakes in the market with uh, selfie paper uh, uh, they, they're covered, uh, the bottle is covered with cellophane and uh, so it comes out if you scratch it so just be careful, that's, uh, that's one thing you've got to keep in mind buying this one okay, three words to describe this fragrance masculine, vibrant ocean okay now the notes uh, there are chords of Sicilian Mandarin mixed with Neroli oil uh, other notes are Indonesian patchouli and white incense olivenum <clears throat> the bottle looks like a glass pebble as you saw and uh, where it can double up as a paperweight uh, this fragrance reminds me of uh, sandy beaches uh, it is the scent of the ocean it's such a crazy, crazy mix of notes that it gives you the feel of lying on an exotic beach, eyes closed and breathing in the purest, most unadulterated scent of the of the seas. Um, it's a fantastic, fantastic creation from Bulgari that captures the attention uh, from the first blast and you know you you just end up losing yourself uh, in the richness hook line and sinker uh, amara again in mongolian is uh, it, it means peaceful and so th this fragrance it gives you the feel of uh, being at peace with your surroundings um, i see someone like zac efron uh, wearing this one because it captures your sen senses from the very first sniff among the per sporting personalities, uh, I think Neymar is the best uh, suited uh, person for this fragrance. Uh, okay, uh, we talk about the performance now, uh, longevity. Well, this is one of the few aquatic fragrances that has such an amazing longevity. Uh, without a tinge of exaggeration, guys, it lasts between 14 to 18 hours on my skin and on my clothes which is amazing. So I give uh, I give it 9 on 10 uh, just for the longevity. For projection, well, Amara uh, has a pa very powerful projection. Uh, can project for up to 7 to 8 hours depending on the number of sprays and of course the weather. So I give it an 8 on 8.8 .8 on 10. Uh, for sillage, uh, well, it leaves a, uh, it does, you know, leave a powerful scent trail and uh, people who do take notice. Uh, it's a compliment, compliment monster, this one. So another 8.8 8 on 10. 
Uh, overall performance, I would uh, give it a 9 on 10, uh, which is very, very good. Um, a number of sprays, at least 15 to 18. You can go beyond that, but, uh, well, 15 to 18 at least. Um, okay, so, um, well, I know there's, uh, uh, it has its critics, too, and, uh, well, they say that uh, the dry down smells like plastic, uh, Guys, I really, really do not agree with them because I don't think it smells like plastic. Um, it uh, the dry down is beautiful, just like uh, the first blast, uh, and it keeps you, you know, mesmerized all the time. Uh, and well, if you if you haven't got your nose onto this one, I suggest you get your nose onto this one. And if you have, if you've smelled it, then I suggest you get a you get you get your hands on this one um last i heard i think uh, i don't know for some reason the uh, company is uh, dis it's discontinued the the production of uh, amara i really don't know why i just cannot fathom uh, the reason why would why they would uh, discontinue such a, a fantastic fragrance well uh so uh, I've ordered for a backup. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, and uh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, as far as the recommendation scale is concerned, I would give it a nine point five uh, uh, out of ten. Okay, so that's it uh, from me. Um, have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow with another review. Um, see you. Uh, stay alone. Bye bye.